Round nine of Allianz Premiership Women's Rugby saw crucial clashes across the country and at both ends of the table. Leicester Tigers travelled to sail sharks as they tried to claw themselves off the bottom. Lightning welcomed trailfinders to Loughborough and Harlequins were in bear country to face Bristol. But we begin at Kingsholm, where Gloucester Hartbury and Saracens were looking to remain unbeaten at the top of the table. Commentary comes from Nick Heath. Big jump by Georgia Brock. No Zoe Allcroft, of course, at the minute. One of a fairly decent list of players advantage. out injured. Penalty advantage already coming. Nine, Cecilia Tuipolotti has tried to go round on that side and effect the carry. They're getting closer to the line. Has the ball managed to find it? OK, time off. Natasha Hunt is just having a look to see if it was down. I'm, I'm happy with that, Harry. Yep, yeah. okay. Try good. Yep. Thanks very much. It will Thanks be good. the first try of the game. Small. Down from Galligan. Bridge has joined. Clapp has joined. This one moving forwards with a bit more purpose. Saracens getting over the line and getting the try. Can Gloucester Hartbury take advantage this time? They call oh. again to Matthews and they roll around the front. There aren't many numbers Five. there initially for Saracens. Now they drive through and get over the line for the score. Kelsey Jones gets the try. Mo Hunt goes looking for it. Beckett, oh, she'll just take the opportunity to start bowling away through Paige Farris. It was there for Hunt. One look from the scrum half, but the finish is there. It's hat-trick time for Kelsey Jones. Release. Big upright okay. collision there. Attack, Kelsey yeah. Jones into breach. We have got head-on-head -head contact, OK? And, we and there is force there, so unfortunately, it's a red card for two red. No Decision made, and Kelsey Jones has gone. Small. Well, it's a big momentum swing back the way of Saracens as they look to try and get this maul towards the line. And they are over the line, and the try is scored. Bryony Fields. And how critical could that one be? Hunt, miss pass for Tui Pilotu, who puts it into the hands, and Singh gets around on the outside. Emma Singh into the 22. Singh to score the try. Oh, what a score! Vivasel play to the left of Saracen's got one more play to make in this. It's going to be the run for Corinne Grant as she eyes up the corner. Oh, it's a lovely finish from the Scottish international. For Gloucester Harpry, this makes quite the statement. Saracen's have come up short. It finishes Gloucester Harpry 24, Saracen's 15. Last week we didn't put out the performance. Um... We know we're about and we galvanised as a group this week. We knew we had to bring the phys physicality and resilience out there. We knew every inch blade of grass was going to count today and we just didn't stop from 1 to 80. Next to the other end of the table for the first Allianz Premiership women's rugby meeting between Sale Sharks and Leicester Tigers. The visitors, still seeking their first win this campaign, made an auspicious start. Never on the road and only once at home this season had the Tigers drawn first blood. Claire Gallagher with the try and Meg Jones converted. But then the Sharks attacked. Their one victory this term was at home to Harlequins in November and they were desperate to add to it. Molly Kelly crossed over and Victoria Irwin's conversion levelled the scores in the 22nd minute. Holly Borden gave them the lead just before the break. And this was to prompt a real seesaw in terms of the power balance of the match. Leicester started the second half as they had the first. They roared up the middle and Tess Fury, who'd last dotted down against Saracens, dived over. The game, played at Chester Rugby Union Football Club due to adverse weather conditions at the Sharks' Corpac Stadium, swung again. Catherine Benson bulldozed over. Sale had the advantage. 
but the Tigers clawed their way back into contention once more. Slick hands and the ball passed to the sprinting Jones. A touchdown in the corner and they were just two points off their hosts. Jones missed the conversion, but she and her teammates weren't discouraged. They could sense the real possibility of a win if they could muster up one more try. And that's exactly what they did. Leah Bartlett won the match for the brave visitors. It had been a long time coming, but the Tigers had finally earned their stripes. A first victory in this competition. The final score, Sail Sharks 19, Leicester Tigers 22. Another fixture with a venue change. The game between Loughborough Lightning and Trailfinders was held at Loughborough University. Lightning's usual home ground at Franklin's Gardens was partially frozen. The hosts came out of the blocks quickly, with Helen Nelson and then Sadia Kabea touching down, the tough-tackling South Londoner with her first try of the season and a 12-point lead after just 12 minutes had been played. Trailfinders, who'd lost their last two league matches, responded. Strong running and neat passing. Karis Cox touched down. And with the successful conversion, that narrowed the visitors' deficit to five points. But all too soon, Lightning were on the attack again. Kabea and Kath O'Donnell both crossed, bringing up the bonus point for Lightning before below Matai Thongo got in on the act. They hadn't won a home game so far this season. Perhaps the venue change was proving fortuitous. Vicky Laughlin's try on the stroke of half time kept the visitors in the contest, but they had a mountain to climb in the second period. They'd taken the first step in that ascent with Sarasea crossing over, but their progress hit a roadblock, or rather, lightning blazed out of sight. Helena Rowland, with a try and her fifth successful conversion of the match, extended their advantage. And Chloe Rolly rounded it off to complete the team's biggest win of the campaign. 45-21 to Loughborough Lightning. Finally, to Shaftesbury Park, where Bristol Bears faced Harlequins. The hosts, who'd won three and lost three league games so far, were first to get on the scoreboard here. Deborah Wills crossing over the line. A successful conversion followed, and the Bears' bullish mood continued. Bristol have six players called up to the Red Roses' first training camp of 2024. One of them already has 67 caps to her name, and it was she, Amber Reed, who bundled over to take the score to 12-0. Quinn's two victories this season had come away from home, but this match wasn't going their way. After the break, Delaney Burns extended the home side's lead. The conversion made it 19-0. At which point, the visitors gave themselves a lifeline. Hannah Sims stretched over. The question was, could they make a full recovery in the remaining 20 minutes? The Bears made sure that the answer was no. Hannah Bottomen, another experienced England international, had the final say. Bristol securing a second successive victory to consolidate their push for a top four place. It ended Bears 26, Quinns 7. So, Harlequins beaten in bear country as Bristol sealed a bonus point victory. Lightning were the round's high scorers, and there were important results for both Leicester Tigers and Gloucester Hartbury at either end of the table. Saris remain top, but they've played a game more than the reigning champions in second, who are the only undefeated side. Loughborough keep the pressure on the top four, just three points behind the Bears. Leicester stay bottom, but will be boosted by the win. Sales' rearranged round three tie against Exeter Chiefs takes place next weekend, before we move into February and round 10 of Allianz Premiership Women's Rugby. Our live game on TNT Sports 1 comes from the Stoop, where Harlequins will host the Sharks.